Can you hit it? Is it recording? All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about five tips that I gathered through my experience with going to the gym, and I hope it helps you survive what I like to call the great filter. So you're probably wondering, what is the great filter? The great filter had many names. It's really a time period between January 1st through around March, maybe even at the end of March, where the new year, new me gym people decide to either stick with it or have that great filter filter them out and they'll drop out like flies. These tips are designed to help you stay consistent and push through it and beat that great filter. Some people even call it the great equalizer. All right guys, with no particular order, the first tip I got for you guys is choose the right gym. It's important to choose the right gym because this is where you're gonna spend most of your time gaining your gains. And if you're somewhere where you're too comfortable, you'll never reach your goal. And if you're somewhere that is too intimidating, you'll just you won't even show up. So it's important to choose a place where you find yourself comfortable to put your foot in through the door and start working out. But at the same time, it challenges you so that you can reach your goal. And it's important to know your environment really dictates your success rate. So put yourself where you're challenged, but at the same time, you're willing to go to. All right guys, so the next tip I got for you guys is revolving around supplements. Don't make the mistakes that I did in the past where I went onto websites like bodybuilding.com, select all their recommended supplements and, and think that that will work. That did not work and I ended up wasting so much money on these supplements. So the number one thing that I will recommend to you guys to start at least is protein. Spend your money on protein, good quality protein. It will help you in the long run um, as you normally should on a daily basis because not a lot of people take a lot of protein. So protein, protein, protein. Um, that's my number one recommended supplement. You can get into the other things as you go on, but get enough protein in your system and get used to taking it. All right guys, so the next tip I got for you guys is your approach. Understand that there's many specialties when it comes to going to the gym. There's bodybuilding, there's powerlifting, there's calisthenic, there's endurance training, there's flexibility, crossfit, there's a whole bunch. Keep in mind, your approach has to align with your goal. Don't make the mistake that I did. I started powerlifting thinking that I'll end up like Chris Sebum or Greg Duchetti. That's not gonna work. And because you're not seeing results, you're just gonna quit. So align your results with your approach. All right guys, so the second to the last tip I got for you guys is understand that your motivation or your reason to go to the gym has to be strong and can't really be superficial. I used to go to the gym with the thought of trying to lose weight and I realized that's not gonna help me when it comes to um, understanding what weight really is because muscle weighs a lot more than fat. And when I didn't understand that, I wasn't getting the results that I had. In fact, I started gaining weight because of my powerlifting regimen as well. But because I was gaining weight, I realized that maybe I'm doing something wrong and eventually I just gave up. So finding the right reason such as like stress relieving or um, trying to just have a better healthy lifestyle with, you know, if you have other underlying conditions that you're trying to solve, you know, those type of reasons carry you through a lot more and helps you um, just enjoy working out a lot more than just trying to lose weight. So find your right reason. Yeah, losing weight is a good you know, foot in the door, um, but eventually and hopefully you'll find out that you have a lot more to gain from you know, enjoying the gym and finding that right reason to help you carry through it. So, all right guys, so the final tip, and not, it's not really conventional, but I believe, and Mindy too, she's behind the camera and smiling, she knows this is true too. And that tip is, if you look good, you feel good, and then you do good. If you watch my videos, I'm always in a different outfit or I'm always showing off my shoes or whatever it may be. It's not really to um, show off in a sense. It's really just to show you guys that what I have on makes me feel good. And when I'm at the gym, I'm, I'm seeing myself, you know, with tank. I don't usually wear this, um, but I feel good in it. And that in turn just helped me um, just work out harder because I'm seeing the results. Um, live, you know, in person. So if you look good, you feel good, and trust me, you'll do good. And that's it. Enjoy the new year. Enjoy your workout. Fingers crossed that you'll survive the great filter. Peace. I'm, I'm stressed. You hit it. All right, guys. So the